doing well um yeah let's just get into what i'm doing today basically i posted this look on instagram yesterday and on my snapchat and you guys really really loved the look so i was just like you know what let me film it um for you guys because i haven't done a makeup look in a minute and yeah this is the look i came up with i'm using a bunch of new products that i found that i really like i've got lots of suggestions for you guys lots of tips so you need to stay tuned and if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you love this sultry sexy glam not too much not too little um hopefully easy to follow look then yeah stay tuned don't forget to subscribe any questions you guys have down below and everything let me know and i'll catch you guys in the video let's go i've already laid my edges if you want to know how i do my edges and my hair and all this jazz i will link either up here or down in the description box probably in the description on how i do my edges nice and laid so you guys already know i use glossier lash stick for my brows and this is an empty um mascara bottle and i really, really like the brush i've said this like a thousand times <laughs> but i really, really like the brush i'm just gonna brush them with my brows I'm gonna brush my brows with the brush what's going on with me today so i brush them up just to see the shape of my brow and then i'll bring my hairs down because i just don't really like my hair looking spiky I feel like it works for models, but it just doesn't work for me, you know? Anyway, I'm then going to go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade. Um, I don't know what shade this is, actually. Dark Drapes. Am I right? I think this is in Dark Drapes, but anyway. It's got the pencil and then the ink stain. So then I'm going to conceal my face using the NARS Creamy Concealer. My shade is in the shade Caramel. I'm gonna just dot it around anywhere where I've got like a little dark mark here. My under eyes. I can still under my foundation now. I feel like it just gives me a better, I don't know what you call it, up here, because I've been eating too many sweets and getting spots. But yeah, I've been sealing under my makeup just because I feel like I just end up using less product. Then I'll blend everything with the concealer brush from Real Techniques. Because the makeup look is going to be quite glowy today, um, it's probably going to be better for dry people with dry skin, however not so much people with oily skin, so just make sure you prime your face with a mattifying primer. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is oil free and it's pore minimising and it's really good for people with oily skin. If you get really oily, I'd also suggest using um, a powder underneath, like a translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I would tap. Not too much product, we're not trying to bake, we're just so anywhere where you get oily. If you've got dry skin, don't worry about doing none of this. This will this whole makeup look is really for you guys. So I bought a new foundation recently. I've been really liking it. Um, this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And for the longest time, I thought my shade was Tahoe. It's not Tahoe, it's Moria. This is my this is my foundation shade. Tahoe was a little light in the sheer glow, but in the NARS Radiant, it's quite similar. Like you can really wear either foundation. So I'm gonna take like two pumps, I don't really need that much. We always like to focus it on the center of my face and then we're gonna blend outwards for a more even, less cakey coverage look. Then I'm gonna be taking Luxie Beauty. I've, I've just really been liking their brushes. This is the round top blender. I think they have a whole set. I'm gonna try and link it down below. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, like Tahoe never used to match my forehead that well, but this one seems to match it pretty okay. So yeah, I don't, know how to, I don't know if I'm even saying it correctly. Moria, Mori, I don't know. And guys, a massive, massive tip. Always try to do your makeup in the light. Like whether it's like a light in the room, just always try to face your makeup to the light. Just that way it ends up being like, it looks more flawless when, you know, than doing it in the dark. Like I know people that prefer doing their makeup in the dark and it's like, why? Because as soon as you come to the light, it looks like you've done your makeup in the dark. No shade, but all shade. But anyway, for concealer, I've been using the Born This Way concealer, the Multi Sculpting Use concealer, this shade in the shade Golden Beige. Don't get this shade if you're my shade. Go like two shades down. I um, got this online when I was, what's it? When I was working with ASOS, they were like, oh, pick a bunch of products. I picked this one thinking it'll be my shade, but it's too light. But anyway, we're gonna make it work. It's okay. If it makeup's, 
I'll show you guys what to do for makeup too light for you. A little goes a long way. I love this dome applicator by the way, but a little goes a long way. So, honestly that is as much as I actually need because it's real full coverage. And this blends, honey, this blends out. Then use my foundation and also apply it next to this. This is what you do if your concealer's a bit too light. Use your foundation to just help blend it out. And then, um, <laughs> My beauty blender is dirty because I used it yesterday, okay, and I uh, don't have time to wash it now because I don't really like it when my, my makeup sponges are too, too damp. So they need to be like low-key damp, so it's still a bit low-key damp because I did wash it. But I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to hide it from you guys, like, you, you guys are going to see it, but just don't judge, okay? Okay. And because I used my foundation, it didn't get too bright, but if it gets a bit too close to your skin tone, just go a little bit more with the concealer. I put it all over my eyelids. Cool, gonna be taking Laura Mercier. Um, if you watch my video from beforehand, the one of my actual makeup routine, I tell you guys how I avoid doing creasing on my under eye. I don't really wanna make this video too long, but basically I focus, I literally blend out and I apply um, the powder immediately after. But if you wanna watch me like really go into it, I'll put the video here for you guys to go watch. Once again, anywhere you get oily, these are for, this is for my oily girls. If you don't get oily, I'm jealous of you. So then, I've been doing bronzing a lot recently, but I kind of skipped contour, but yesterday when I was doing the makeup look, um, I like was like, let me just go back into contouring a little bit. So I'm taking the MAC Studio Perfecting Stick. This is in the shade N5 NW50. And I didn't do too much, I just kind of just put it right under my cheekbone. The side of my forehead, literally a little bit of my nose. Chin and jaw. I really don't have a jaw. I don't have a jaw at all. Like I think I get I get that from my mum. We don't really have jaw lines, strong jaw lines, but it's okay. I'm, ha I'm very happy with my double chin, okay? I'm very happy with it. I'm not happy with it, I'm really not. It's really hot in here, but if I open the window, you'll just hear outside. Oh, okay. So, oh, um, this is a stippling brush from Real Techniques, by the way, if you're wondering. The thing with the perfecting stick is it does dry down a bit fast. Oh, but it's not too hard to blend. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking, you guys already know I'm about to say, the Fenty Beauty Caramel Kitty. This is just amazing. I'm gonna be taking this all over my face and also as a transition color in my eyes. Taking a fluffy brush. This one's actually from It's My Ray Ray's collection on, from, on BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna tap that Pat off and put it into my crease. And then going in with the Morphe 39A palette, I'm gonna take this chocolate shade right here. I'm gonna also push that into the crease, the brown shade. I like a cat eye eye look, so I just pushed the shades up. So recently I went into NARS and I started to create my favourite type of palette. So I've got some shades from NARS, like two blushes and three eyeshadows. These two really, really caught my eye. They're really, really pretty and shimmery. Maybe I can come up close. So I'm going to be taking the Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. This is a pink shade and just apply it all over my lids. There is a lot of kind of fallout with this shade, so just be careful. I don't really mind it as long as the shade looks really pretty. And using the It's My Ray Ray Blending Brush, I'm gonna go into the brown shade Galapagos from the NARS palette and then put that in the, in the crease. In the crease, but also outwards. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. So for sultry looks, I tend to use brown eyeliners instead of black ones because I just feel like it gives like a more sultry, sexy, cute, flirty effect. So I've been using actually the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Unveiled. This is a really nice chocolate brown. I don't really use this as much on my face, but I really like using it as an eyeliner. So I'm going to be using this with the small angled brush from Luxie.
And then for the inner corner, I like to use Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And also taking Hustler Baby, I'm also gonna apply that on the highest point of my lids, just to brighten it up. And then for my under eye, I'm gonna go back in with Fenty Beauty Caramel Kitty Bronzer. And then also, because I really, really like this shade, going in my under eye with Galapagos from NARS. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the outer corner of my eyes, on my, of my under eye. So for mascara, I think this actually plays a huge part in like the look. I've been using the ba Beauty Bake Eyelash Icing Black Waterproof Mascara. This is a mouthful. Um, this is very good mascara for lengthening your lashes. Not so much volume, so we're gonna need to use two, two mascaras, but lengthening for like your bottom eyelash mascara. Don't really care about the top because we're going to be using lashes anyway, so, you know. But yeah, so I'm just going to apply the mascara. I put quite a lot of coats, especially for my bottom lashes, because I want, I want the spidery effect eye look. So once you apply the mascara, if you've got long eyelashes, I suggest just use the Maybelline Nice Sensation. It's really, really good. Um, but if you've got short eyelashes, I suggest using the Beauty bake, Bakery first and then this for like the spritey effect. Or you can just put loads of layers. But I thought, you know, I might as well show you two mascaras I use because I do use two. Fuck. I hate when this happens. Okay, I'll fix that later. So annoying. So then I'm gonna apply my favorite, favorite lashes right now. They have no packaging, but they're absolutely stunning. These are the JC Beauty Sienna lashes. They've just got glue and everything on them, but they're so pretty. Ooh, please just stick, please. I don't have the energy or the time, please. Okay, so once that's done, we'll move to the face. From the NARS palette, I also got this really, really, really gorgeous, these really gorgeous shades of blushes. Um, let me find the name of them. Oh, I need to actually like remember them off by heart so I don't need to take them off. Actually, you'll see it on my cheeks. It's like an orangey color. This is Taj Mahal. And the red one, which is gorgeous. I feel like this will look so nice on deeper skin tones. It's called Exhibit A. I use a little bit of Exhibit A because so it's a very, very nice blush. It gives you that bronzy look. Taking my blush brush from It's My Ray Hate BH Cosmetic. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the red shade. A little really goes a long way. And then for highlights, I'm going back in with Mean Money and Hustler Baby from Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna be taking Hustler Baby everywhere, not really Mean Money. And then for the lips, taking MAC Cork Lip Liner. I've heard they're discontinuing MAC lip, Cork Lip Liner and I really, really hurt like that. So I went to um, MAC and bought five. I'm gonna be taking Fenty Beauty, the Unveiled, to line my lips for more definition. Then I'm gonna be taking Morphe Lip Gloss in the shade Chill. And then Kiko Lip Gloss in 20 All Over. And then for more and more gloss, like this is very optional, but this is what I like to do because I'm just a lot sometimes. MAC lip gloss. Any lip clear lip gloss will do, but this is the MAC lip gloss if you're interested. Um, and clear, because I've got loads of shades. This, this stuff is so glossy, oh my goodness. And then to set everything and give me a glowy look, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Spray. my face look wet and this is a finished look like, i hope this was like easy for you guys to follow let me know if you guys have any questions i really really love how this look came out um yeah it's really cute really simple it's like glam but not like overwhelming you know what i mean sultry sexy cute my vibe if you like this video please 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 give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time bye <laughs>